Nova and Nova Science now airs on PBS on Wednesday nights. Well, this week they're talking about space with two documentaries airing the first one at 8 p.m. called At the Edge of Space and the second one airing right after that at 9 p.m. called Asteroid, Doomsday or Payday. Well, there's some spacey stuff going on right here in this part of the country and Professor Daniela Calzetti, astronomy professor at UMass Amherst, joins us to tell us all about that. Thank you so much, Professor, for coming on board. Talk to us about the Hubble Space Telescope that you are able to use at UMass Amherst. How lucky are you guys to be able to have that opportunity? It, it is a, a fantastic opportunity. It's a, a highly competitive uh, a facility. So for every person who gets to use it, every astronomer, there are 10 who are not so lucky. So it's highly, highly sought after. So I feel extremely lucky to have had uh, this opportunity this year. And I truly hope in, in the following years, uh, my colleagues who did not get uh, that luck um, strike uh, this time uh, will get them uh, their turn. It is, uh, uh, well, the Hubble, we don't really travel to it. We actually observe remotely in the sense that uh, there is a facility that steer the telescope where you want it to point and then remotely acquires uh, the data, the images, the spectra, and then uh, sends them to you. So it's a little bit more remote that, uh, than what we usually consider astronomy. Right, because you think of, well, it would make more sense to go into space and see everything, but here you have a telescope from the ground, from Earth, seeing into space. What are some things you've been able to observe into the galaxies? We, uh, well, we mean, meaning myself and my collaborators, we tend to look at very nearby galaxies where we, we can really see all the little regions where the new stars are born. And the, the reason is because uh, uh, that's the only matter we can really see in the universe. When there is a star shining, that's when we receive a signal. And so it's really a probe into the deep space and all the way to the origins of the universe. So learning how stars are born, it's very important for understanding how galaxies overall evolved from the very beginning up to now. Sometimes when we're here on Earth, we think, oh, what's around us? We don't really think up above us. There's so much more out there. What are some of the next steps in the space industry? What's coming next? There are actually a lot, some missions that are being readied as I speak, some others that are just being thought of. One that is going to be launched not too far in the future is the James Webb Space Telescope. It's, for short, it's called the JWST. It's very similar to Hubble okay. in nature and concept. The there are some differences though. One, it will be much farther away. Two, will, so that means that uh, there will be no astronauts going there and servicing it as it happened with the Hubble. I don't know if you saw some of the servicing missions for the Hubble, they were really, really something. So the, the J JW will not be so charming, but it will be a new facility, much more powerful, with a much bigger mirror. So if Hubble decides the JW will be this size, so in comparison, and uh, it's going to be a, a far pa more powerful uh, uh, instrument. The European Space Agency is uh, reading uh, other missions. Uh, one of them is Euclid, which will actually uh, try to probe uh, the dark energy, this mysterious component that we have no clue what it is. So there are many exciting times ahead of us. Okay, we're excited to see what it's about. But you, on your hand, you know so much about space. In fact, you have a law named after yourself, Calzetti's Law. Okay, some do that, yes. <laughs> and that's amazing. It's like you know everything about space. You've been awarded all these top honors in astronomy. What excites you so much about the space industry? It's a, it's a way to stay connected to the whole. It's uh, really something very, very exciting. It's, some, it's the discovery part. It's the fact that you're always there at the edge, trying to reach uh, into a deeper knowledge and deeper space. It's, uh, it's uh, all about uh, the excitement of the science, actually. It's uh, as exciting as uh, those who study little microbes or, or uh, small components of, the, the, of matter and try to probe into the tiniest little components, we try to probe into the biggest components. Well, thank you for coming and bringing your excitement to us. Thank you very much for inviting me.